We have some more breaking news to tell you about. This is just into the Fox 4 newsroom. FHP just announced an arrest in a deadly crash in Lehigh Acres where a four-year-old child was killed. Olivia Kohut is facing three counts of vehicular homicide and one count of reckless driving. Investigators say Olivia Kohut was driving her Dodge Ram pickup truck on East 14th Street and North Avenue. When she slammed into the side of a car, all three killed. I picked up my daughter. We were driving down a road that we drive down multiple times a day. Out of nowhere, a car ran the stop sign and I slammed on the brakes. There was just not enough time to stop and I, I hit him. This case was different from our other cases because normally the context of criminal traffic cases is, you know, a DUI, unfortunately, DUI manslaughter where someone ends up getting killed um, as a result of an accident when someone's under the influence. Here, that, that was not the case. What was tragic about it is we have a true accident where both cars had committed some traffic infraction. Olivia was going above the speed limit. Another vehicle had run a stop sign and an accident occurred that tragically ended in three fatalities. When you're going through like the absolute hardest time of your life and you're just looking for someone to hear you and understand where you're coming from and nobody does because everybody's so busy running their own agenda and then finally somebody that, that matters hears you and, and believes in you, it's, it's an indescribable feeling. The prosecution in this case relied on case law from the 50s to argue to the judge that the jury should not hear what actually happened in the case. That in fact, the jury shouldn't ever know that the other vehicle went through a stop sign and didn't stop. And I asked the judge, judge, look at this case law. Look at what vehicular homicide is. How can a jury determine the facts of this case and whether Olivia is guilty of committing this very serious crime if they don't get to hear what actually happened? And to the judge's credit, the second time around, just before trial, I think it was actually the morning of, agreed. And he said, no, the correct interpretation is that they at least get to hear the facts of the case. And that's what we were able to present to the jury. And he did exactly what I thought he was gonna do. He spoke and everybody listened. When he talks, he just makes sense and you just wanna hear what he has to say. The judge, the prosecutor, the state attorney, everybody for a good reason because he's true. He really has your best interest at heart. I know this wasn't an easy decision for them. I remember the deliberations going well into the night. I didn't really hear what they said. I just remember looking at Mike. It finally hit me, I was acquitted. I am so thankful that a second tragedy didn't happen. When Olivia's freedom was literally on the line, that the jury said, no, this wasn't vehicular homicide, and rendered an acquittal. It's the most important decision you're gonna make when you're going through this. Who do I pick to put my life in their hands? And I'm here to tell you, <laughs> You can trust them. They're gonna go to bat for you. They're gonna defend you. You're in good hands.